Hi guys, uh, today is the 21st of uh, May uh, 2007. It's about uh, noon London time and I'm looking into possible short trades on the Australian dollar against the uh, Canadian dollar. Um, I'm liking this uh, this setup, okay, it's uh, basically uh, a trend trading uh, trade or I hope it, it will be uh, a trade in the direction of the trend, uh, you never know. Um, basically what I'm saying is my, my uh, moving averages formation um, uh, the way I like them okay um, uh, bounce uh, a new swing uh, retracing back to the uh, to the dynamic area of a resistance and uh, bouncing back down from that area okay uh, also retesting the uh, oh, uh, 8850 around number okay uh, holding the dive uh, not being able to make new highs not piercing the 50 per, uh, the 50 simple moving average etc uh, etc et basically uh, you know basically um, uh, well, a uh, trend following trite, okay? Let me submit a, a little bit. I'm liking also how we've just uh, broken this level, okay? This triple uh, bottom level, right? I don't know if you guys can see it uh, uh, from from the uh, uh, recording, but uh, there is a level right there at uh, 8820, okay? Right there these three uh, triple uh, bottoms okay um, we've just uh, broken below that um, that level okay yeah, by the way this is the four hours time frame I don't know I, I don't I can't remember if whether I mentioned that or not um, so we've just broken this uh, level to the downside and uh, also we have um, a yeah uh, one second that's it so I can scroll now better. Um, uh, also, uh, I like it how we are forming some kind of a triangular formation. Okay, we have a tr uh, trend line, uh, a trend line in place. Okay, linking the uh, last uh, three uh, high, um, highs. Okay, the last three uh, swing highs. So, uh, zooming into the one-hour time frame, what I'm seeing is uh, basically once again a breakout of this uh, level okay the uh, uh, 82820 uh, right there okay which also in the intraday uh, from an intraday point of view had all have also been working as support okay what I'm uh, looking for is a breakout uh, retries okay and uh, the continuation pattern uh, that I, I usually tried from uh, I, I, I that's uh, it's the same uh, uh, the same setup I base all my my breakouts okay uh, you have a, a, a level you want to break out from okay that's been working as support you wait for the breakout then you have the pullback to previous support levels now working as resistance uh, that area holds the retrace and you continue to the downside making new lows okay and that triggers your your position um, so basically like I say um, uh, I'm, I'm oh, sorry I chose the wrong uh, option okay so basically what I'm looking is to, uh, is to write a new swing to the downside to gain the direction of the main trend as, 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 as pointed out by the moving averages and my trigger in the one hour will be the one hour time frame okay um, uh, with a breakout and a pullback and a continuation aspect of this level that's uh, been working as a support uh, a number of times, not only in the intraday, from an intraday point of view in the one hour time frame, but also if we scroll back in time, okay, we see that level uh, working as a support right there and there, okay, multiple days uh, bottoming out at that level. Uh, and that's why I'm, I'm looking to uh, to I'm searching for a breakout of this level with a uh, confirmation okay before riding a new uh, so a new uh, wave uh, to the downside below the 088 uh, 00 round number okay um, that's it uh, we'll, I will uh, keep on updating um, whatever happens in in this video okay guys and um, of course if uh, any continuation pattern to the uh, upside any uh, uh, breaking above uh, the dynamic area of resistance and making new highs for the day will cancel the whole thing okay all right guys that's all hi guys this is Hector um, 
I think this is going to be the final uh, the final update for today uh, on this setup. Um, it's the uh, second setup of uh, the other setup I was uh, following today. I, I was following the uh, uh, London Open breakout um, type of trade on the GBP New Zealand dollar. Um, <coughs> I took a trade on the other one. In, uh, this one seems to be a little bit uh, flat. Okay, not much going on today, to be honest. Um, let me zoom into uh, the one-hour time frame. Um, I don't know if, if you guys remember. Uh, I was uh, looking for um, a breakout of uh, this level to the downside with a posterior uh, pullback and a continuation uh, to the downside <coughs> um, in order to um, or, or, or well, hoping to ride a new swing down. Um, you know, right off the dynamic area of uh, resistance. Uh, but uh, from what I'm seeing in the one hour time frame, um, <coughs> uh, today's price action is pretty much range bound. All right, you see that? Pretty much range bound, okay, moving sideways. Uh, not much going on, to be honest. Um, it's uh, half past three uh, p.m. Uh, Euro time. Um, my trading shift uh, ends in uh, two hours. But considering that this is my trigger chart, this is the hourly uh, chart, uh, and I still need to uh, wait for the breakout, the pullback, and the continuation. If if that actually happens, it's gonna take a long time. Or I'm gonna place my alarm stops, uh, my my alarm, uh, sa um, my sound alarms down here uh, in case. Uh, well, uh, you know, in case uh, the range breaks to the downside as as I want it, want it to do. But um, it's going to take a long time, so uh, like I said, for the time being, and I'm just going to um, call it a day, and um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll follow it uh, tomorrow morning, uh, if, uh, let's see if I still have a chance to write this thing down, okay, for the time being, nothing really going on. Uh, that's the beauty of having a, a sound tra trade plan, okay, if things um, unfold the way you expect them, okay, uh, you have a trade, if they don't, well, you enter no trade, no loss, no no nothing, you, you make sure that uh, all uh, those trades that you take are only those that uh, uh, have panned out, have unfold, unfolded uh, in your, uh, the way you expected them to do, and uh, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, well, okay guys, uh, bye bye.